All right, thanks so much, Frank. A recent health poll listed the top 10 pleasures that Americans enjoy. It included things like sleeping, eating dark chocolate, playing hooky from work or school, but or maybe all three of them. Maybe all three together, but you know, Michaela, there is a pleasure that sports fans have been enjoying for decades without knowing all the benefits. It's Beer. Beer. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial is here with his kickoff edition of Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. And we have to make a note, doctor, that all of this research is based on moderate beer drinking. Anything in excess can be hazardous. Well, it's football time. Yes. So there's going to be a lot of beer drinking. Yes. Kids are going back to school, so we have yes. a lot of happy yes. dads. But yes. this segment is about the benefits of beer also for women. Some women oh, don't like the taste. I don't like the taste. Other women don't like the calories, but we have some funny things going on here. So beer, true or false, helps strengthen your bones. Thumbs up or thumbs down? True. Well, we have an even split. It does. Yes. Really? So beer and ales that. have something called silica in it. Silica is in seashells, yeah. is in glass. It's yeah. also in bones to make you harder. Okay. So women who are drinking moderate <gasps> amounts of beer had less osteoporosis. One to two drinks a day. It's hard to do. You don't want to get a DUI, of course. Right, right, right. You don't want to become addicted, of course. But, but in moderation, belly. it's helpful for you. One or two. Would, would, would light beer be applicable or any of those other kinds? You know, it has to do with the ales. So those okay. stronger beers. The, the ales Guinness. have more oh, silica. The stout. In it. India pale ale, stouts, that sort of thing. Okay. Really? Number two. Yeah. Your heart health. Drinking beer is not good for your heart because red wines are good for your heart. True or false? I think red wine's good for your that's heart. That's false. That's false. That's false. I think it just the, the stress relieving. Well, it's different. <laughs> Something about the alcohol, it doesn't matter if it's from wine or liquor or beer is cardio protective. It helps it your help heart. It reduces really? heart attacks. So, so not Mai Tais and margaritas. Was well, it Mai Tais of all the sugary things in there? Then you have to think yeah. about other health risks from that. Right. But the alcohol itself, it's one to two alcoholic drinks. It doesn't matter what it a is. Day? A day? Sometimes Jessica and I have a schnapps before the 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? But um, as we go along with this, like but as you know. we go along with this, I mean, you know, there's always that concern. I mean, one to two, isn't yeah. that going to start affecting the liver at some point? Yeah. Or no, other? that's a good point. One, great question. It doesn't. The hardest thing about these things is because they have a slight addictive potential, just yeah. like having one or two cigarettes. Too, right? How do you stop it? People yeah. go to two or three. First one tastes great. People start having one at work and that sort of thing. So moderation, like Stan uh -oh. said. Oh, breathe on me, Jessica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little alcohol, a little exercise. It's the schnapps, Michaela. It's moderation about, with everything, it's right? It's hard to do, but a lot of Americans do do it. Okay. Next question. Yeah. Okay. For women in particular, yeah. oh. cholesterol. Does drinking beer help your cholesterol levels. Does it reduce Thumbs bad up, cholesterol? Doctor. I gotta say down. It Thumbs does. Up. Wow. And because Jessica, you're I have nailed this today. today. You've done good today. A plus so far. We have a bonus drinker. question let's coming up. Let's go get a drink, up. doctor. Let's <laughs> celebrate. Well, let's go to the bonus question. You would have said, okay. okay. said that anyway. Okay, okay. what's the bonus, bonus round? Do you think somebody got nuns to sign up to do some of these beer drinking tests? Oh, True or false? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of women living yeah, together, they're going to need to drink. I know, you guys know me by now. Spanish nuns who are known for regimented diets yes. and not drinking, yes. were persuaded to drink two beers a day for 45 days. <laughs> that was All hard. the nuns wanted to be in that category. <laughs> and their cholesterol levels went right. down. Wow. It's a nice comparison because they're eating consistently. I just don't like beer. And wow. cholesterol goes down with beer. Your How heart is better with beer. What Could is it in beer imagine? that helps the cholesterol? What Hops. Is, yeah. Hops. The bitter taste that you get from the hops that the women usually don't like is the thing that lowers the cholesterol. Did, Something in alcohol helps your heart in other ways. Did so. they really have to convince the nuns or was it an easy sell? Well, great question. <laughs> the, nun, the, the lead nun said, we did it for the good of humanity. Thank you. Walk into a church and see a nun right. drinking a Miller Lite. I, I can't picture it, Doctor. But like, like a Bud Light all the way, baby. I, I, I'm sure there's something about quantity. A big stadium beer. No, that's, that's not That's it. too much? This is all control size. 12 right. ounces for 12 beer, ounces. standard size for wine. But moderate alcohol drinking, not driving, not getting excessive is actually good for you. If How you can that? pull it off. If you're over 21, wow. by Absolutely. the way, BTW. This may have been the most important segment we've ever had. <laughs> cheers. Dr. Daniel, cheers. Let's right. go for a round. Our favorite doctor has just been I know. Even more favorite. He's our He's super. Our Wow. For more information <laughs> on all of these topics, go to ktla.com slash health. Dr. John Dial, we love when you come to visit, especially when we have good news like that. See you next week.